on everything, you know, and they do have very different perspectives on individual issues, and all that has to be represented. When you just cut it into some kind of two-party compromise system, then you know you're not getting you're not getting a, the true that that's not we the people running the government. Okay, that's two parties running the government. That's two compromisers running the government. That's a, a, a bunch of you know, uh, they're, like I said, because they're not representatives. Uh, they're, they're they're system candidates. I don't even know what to call them. But just think about the implications. I mean, some people would hate the implications, you know, because you're going to have, you know, you're going to have these, you know, Al Sharptons in, in the Congress, and you're going to have, you know. Uh, Ku Klux Klan members, you're going to have all kinds of diversity and all kinds of tensions, uh, but that's really what there should be there. I mean, that is America. America does have these different constituencies, and they all should be represented, and they all should be seen. I mean, you know, it's very good for our democracy, I think, for people to actually see what's behind some of these crazy, uh, you know, legislation that's out there. I mean, why do we have a problem with immigration? Well, because there's all of these lies. You know, the one party is this bleeding heart, uh, you know, oh yes, we got to be, you know, let all the people in, and we got to, you know, love everybody, and it doesn't matter whether they're, you know, bringing their desperation into our country, it doesn't matter if they ruin our standard of life, it doesn't matter, all this other stuff, and then you got this other side, you know, who's just racist, or just hates people that are poor, or just hates this, and hates that, you know, and and ironically, these two different, these two opposing uh, ideologies have some side, you know, they find a way to contrive a way to just keep making the problem worse. Okay, because they don't admit what the problem is. You know, I mean, the Democrats, you know, Republicans talk good talk, you know, let's build fences, let's stop the illegals, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? It was Republicans who took immigration numbers from, you know, 200,000 and raised it to over a million. And and there's Republicans who let all these people in on what they call a temporary visa, which is you know a stupid idea, but they hand out millions of those, and uh, guess what? You know all those, uh, yeah, legal temporarily legal people. Guess what? Their visas run out. They don't become citizens, and they become illegal aliens because they don't go back home. And you know that's the real problem. I mean that's that real growth in illegal immigration is through legal means. They're not coming over. You know, they're not crossing the border. They're flying here in a plane. And we don't do anything. Like I said, the two-party system is not going to fix that problem. You know, because the businesses have an interest. And the, the you know, the liberals want the, the poor people votes. And, you know, so they're, they're both playing the real majority in this country. And, and, and the real majority is going to be the loser. And the same thing happens with all this pork spending. You know, all these representatives, because they're based on a geography, and they're all representing, you know, these narrow uh, interests, uh, you know, uh, of this, you know, s based on, on geography, based on the whatever dominates the geography, that dominates the politics. So, I mean, if you live near an Air Force base, you might as well not bother to like get going to vote if you have any kind of politics that's anti-war or anti-industrial military and industrial complex because you're never gonna you're never gonna see your candidate ever win you know because that that uh, little local interest is going to dominate the local politics and you know you're guaranteed to have a representative who's going to do everything he can to keep feeding that local institution no matter how destructive it is to the national economy or, na or, or inefficient, no matter how wasteful the spending is, they're going to protect that. And that's that's pork barrel spending. We have this, you know, it's a huge amount of money spent, huge amount of money wasted on this nonsense because they all have to come up a way, get more money to their district, more money to the employees and the, and the people living in their district. And as, and as long as we're involved in that competition, there's no winning. It's just like the competition between states. They they start competing with each other to attract, uh, you know, rich people and businesses. So they keep making, you know, <coughs> concessions on taxes and do this and do and create all these incentives, you know, to um, increase the the, the the this desirable population that they want to attract. And uh, uh, 
you know, in the end, who loses? All the regular people living in those states lose. Because that kind of, we're just competing against ourselves. It's like having a competition against your own brother, you know? It, it just, there's no winning because we're basically, you know, screwing each other, <coughs> our own neighbors, so to speak, uh, you know, to, for this short term gains, you know? And uh, it's, it's, that's really not what politics should be about. Like I said, it should be about our ideology. It shouldn't be about our geography. It shouldn't be about our local interests. It should be about our human interests. I mean, what we, what we, you know, like I said, if you, if you, if you, if you're, if you're devoted to some local interest, you certainly should have the right to vote that devotion. But you shouldn't be allowed to steal, you know, somebody else's representation, somebody else's vote, you know, to get what you want. And, uh, the, you know, online on the website, <coughs> I, I have a, you know, a 10 point um, example of, of how you could run one of these elections, you know, that allow for a real choice and you know allow this system to create real representation and for us to have a much more mature democracy i'm i'm not saying my idea is the best way or the only way i know i know it's a better way i know it and i know it could be improved and i know we should be working towards that we should be constantly attempting to improve these you know this social infrastructure we should we should, you know, that should always be our mission. We should always be looking for a better future. And, and you know, part of that is this, the idea that, yeah, you know, we would, we would expand 